Hello everyone, I'm Miranda, in case you haven't seen my previous video. Um, this is going to be a short and easy makeup tutorial. It's going to be a really natural looking one. And so yeah, we'll just jump right in. First, I'm going to be taking this Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This is really good, especially during the summer. It's oil-free, so it keeps your skin from looking, you know, oily, like what happens during the summer. Unless it's the look you're going for. I know a lot of people like that oily look. So, next I'm going to be taking the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 24 Hour Foundation. This is one of my favorite foundations for such a good price. It's a drugstore brand. You could get it anywhere, honestly. And I've gotten so many compliments on it. My mom says that it makes your skin look like cotton, so, I mean, that's pretty great. <laughs> so, next I'm going to be taking a Maybelline Concealer. I don't remember the name of it. If there is a specific name, I'm not currently at my house, so I can't check. But if there is a specific name, whenever I get the chance, I will put... I will put the name of it in the link down below. So I'm just going to be putting that under my eyes on the inner part of my forehead, on my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, and under my cheekbone, I think, I believe. <laughs> yeah, and I'm just going to be blending all of that out. I didn't show all of it because, honestly, let's not be extra. <laughs> So next I'm going to be taking the Airspun Translucent Loose Face Powder. This is one of my favorite face powders. It works just like um, another one. I actually forgot the name of it. I just said it in my head. Completely forgot. But it works super good. So I'm going to be baking. I'm going to be to make sure that my concealer sets. Next I'm going to be taking the Shadow Insurance Primer by Too Faced. This is really good to make sure your eyeshadow doesn't crease. So I'm going to be taking a little bit, about half a penny size, and I'm going to be putting that all over my eyebrows. So now I have these two, they're super cute Too Faced palettes. They came out a while ago. I have the matte chocolate chip and the white chocolate chip, but for this video I'm just specifically going to be using the matte chocolate chip because it has more of the natural brownish color that I, or look that I was going for. So first I'm going to be taking the color Matte Creme Boulet and I'm just going to be putting that into my crease and a little bit above my crease. I'm going to be blending that out towards my eyebrow just to give it, you know, a really blended out look. Next I'm going to be taking the color Semi Sweet and I'm going to be putting that more towards my crease without blending it out too high because I want the outer, the higher color to be the lighter one, you know? Next I'm going to be taking the color Matte Cherry Cordial. It's a really nice burgundy-ish, reddish color, you know, cherry, like it says. And I'm going to be putting that, I'm going to be putting that on my outer corner and a little bit into my crease and I'm just going to be blending that out. Next, I'm going to take a small, flat, rounded brush, and I'm going to be putting it into the color Matte Marzipan. It's a really soft, light brown, sort of like a caramel, no, a little bit lighter than a caramel color. And I'm going to be putting that on the inner corner of my eye, just to give it, you know, a lighter look. I don't want the whole eye to be dark. Next, I'm going to be taking the color Strawberry Bonbon, and I'm going to put it right over the Matte Marzipan color. Next, I'm going to take another flat rounded brush. This one's a little bit longer than the first one, and I'm going to be putting it in the color white chocolate. This is the biggest portion of eyeshadow that I have in the pan, and I feel like this is really good for highlighting, so I put it right on my brow bone and as well as the inner corner of my eyes. Next, I'm going to be taking, it's sort of like a blending brush, but it's more angled. And I'm going to be putting it into that first matte creme boulet color. And I'm going to be blending that onto the outer corner of my under eye. Next, I'm going to take that semi-sweet color that I used also before. And I'm also going to be putting that over the matte creme boulet color. Next, I'm going to take the Airspun Loose Face Powder again. And I'm going to put it on... This flat big rounded brush and we'll be putting that right under where my foundation ends just to make it more a more cleaner edge I guess and I'm gonna be doing that to both of my eyes
Next, I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to be wiping off all of the um, extra loose face powder. Don't want to look like a vampire, so I'm just going to be blending all of that out, wiping all of the excess off. Next, I'm going to take a fluffier angled brush and I'm going to be using the Anastasia Contour Kit. This is in the color light to medium and so I'm going to be getting the darkest color in the palette and I'm going to be using that as my contour. So I'm going to put that right under my cheekbone above my jaw and I'm going to be blending that out on both cheeks. And I'll be using that same color and putting it on my forehead just to give a tanner bronze look. Now I'm going to be taking the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. This is my favorite mascara ever. It's drugstore brand, super good price, so it's really good. And I've tried the um, Better Than Sex Mascara. That one does not work nearly as good as this one. So now I'm going to be taking an eyebrow brush. I feel like my eyebrows are dark enough. I don't really feel the need to fill them in. Plus, it's it would be a bit time consuming. So all I do is just brush my eyebrows into the way that I want them to go. And yeah. So next, I'm going to be taking this. It's like a brownish kind of caramelly color. Um, and I actually forgot the name of it, but like I said, I'm not currently at home, so whenever I do get home, I'll put the name in the link down below. And I'm going to be dabbing this all over my lips just because I don't want a dark, harsh color. I want a soft, rosy color. So I'm just going to be dabbing this all over. That's this is sort of just to show the outcome a little. Next, I'm going to be taking a lighter brown shimmery color and we'll be putting that right over the rosy color just to give it a sort of, not a gloss, but a shimmer. Next, I'm going to be taking the Pearl Essence Coconut Water. It's a uh, face mist. It's my favorite, especially during the summer. It's to hydrate your skin in case you have dehydrated skin or it's dry or whatever. I was going to put this in my a summer haul video, but I actually forgot. It's totally my favorite. Said totally a lot so yeah if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe